building systems that are able to mimic some of the way that uh, our brain operates to embody these in these systems, in these robots, so they can behave uh, in a way that is as we would expect them to behave when operating with us in this environment. My name is Esther Luna Colombini. Uh, I'm a member of the IEEE RAS Society and uh, I'm a professor uh, at the University of Campinas in Brazil. We work with autonomous robots uh, mainly for um, uh, soccer and we use many kind of learning processes. There are learning processes that we can imitate the behavior of another robot or a person. We can learn uh, from trial and error. We build robots that have this kind of structure for what we want, and then we simulate them in an environment with high fidelity simulators. And then we put our learning algorithms on the simulators, and then we transfer them to the real robots and carry out some adjustments uh, to refine it, and then we put it uh, to play. So we want to learn how to walk, how to kick, how to get up. Uh, every one of these moves are learned uh, following these steps. The idea of the cognitive systems is, is really the idea of putting everything together. So it's learning how to see things, learning how to behave, learning how to make the correct decisions, learning how to use prior behavior that you have already uh, recorded and how to improve this behavior. The idea of learning to learn is to accommodate all these specific behaviors or specific knowledge that, you, that the robot has already uh, acquired. Uh, it's like us as we experience uh, the environment and as we get older and as we have more experience, uh, we get more knowledge and then refine our behavior, refine our decisions. So the aim of the cognitive systems with all this learning is to teach the robots how to accommodate all of these in a single structure.